Good evening, and here's our top story. The New Orleans Saints won Super Bowl 44 today, defeating the Indianapolis Colts 31 to 17. Residents of New Orleans celebrated with drinking, parades, and debauchery. So it was an ordinary night in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, we got a live show. Live from Hollywood. Kipling Brown. Artemis Pathani. Entertainment news. Other stuff. And news from around the world. Tell us what this is, please. It's Top Story Weekend. In five, four, three, two, one. Rahm Emanuel, President Obama's chief of staff, apologized last Tuesday for using the word retarded to describe certain liberal activists. <laughs> Explain to Emanuel. I uh, deeply regret what I may have said. Uh, language like that is totally gay. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Ah, fuck it. <laughs> British Prime Minister Gordon Brown and his Irish counterpart Brian Cowan finalized a peace deal for Northern Ireland on Friday. To celebrate, the parliaments in both London and Dublin got drunk and beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> the Labor Department reported on Friday that the jobless rate declined in January for the first time in over a year. The decline was attributed to the Labor Department hiring some guys to report the jobless rate in January. <laughs> Ten American missionaries were charged with child abduction when they tried to smuggle 33 children out of Haiti, said a Haitian official. Uh, not, <laughs> not to worry. Uh, in prison, these folks will have plenty of time for uh, the missionary work uh, and uh, the doggy style work. <laughs> uh, the filthy Sanchez work and uh, the rusty trombone work. I do not even know the meaning of the last one, but it's, it's not good. <laughs> a Mercedes stolen from Charlie Sheen's home on Friday was found overturned at the bottom of a nearby cliff. The Mercedes hopes to reconcile with Charlie and claims the whole thing was its fault and that it fell down the cliff because we're just so clumsy. <laughs> This week, uh, Avatar received nine Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture. Uh, critics uh, countered uh, that the uh, nominations for Avatar were suspiciously similar to Dances with Wolves. <laughs> Madonna's new Brazilian model boyfriend, Jesus Luz, is uh, reportedly ending her relationship, uh, commented Jennifer Aniston. Hey, yeah, Madonna! Hey, uh, so I heard you and Jesus might be Splitsville, Splitsville, if I'm a little drunk, sorry about that. Uh, so Splitsville, you know, word of advice, I heard you're still together, keep that condo in Splitsville, take it from me, Mayor, Mayor of Splitsville, five years of counting, yeah, yeah, Mayor. Insider, uh, Lindsay Lohan has reportedly shown uh, signs of a problem with hoarding. Of course, that didn't stop her with throwing away her career. <laughs> she should get herself an unfunny sitcom. <laughs> Reportedly, Harold Bill Gibson's publicist has uh, claimed that the star did not call a reporter an asshole on live TV, stating that Gibson was actually talking to him, the publicist, uh, explained said publicist. Hey, uh, yeah, Mal gets into a lot of trouble for saying things that uh, were intended for just me. But, you know, that's what happens when you hire a publicist named Sugar Tits. Asshole stain, I mean. <laughs> Let me know if you need some rep representation, by the way. I like your style, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Finally, Amy Winehouse uh, has uh, admitted to a friend this week that she is bisexual. <laughs> Winehouse is uh, reportedly attracted to both men and crack. <laughs> <laughs> officials say that gangs are now making greater use of social networking sites such as Facebook. As a result, police have been told to be on the lookout for drive-by pokings. <laughs> a restaurant in Canada has invited customers to have sex in their unisex bathrooms on Valentine's Day. They are also advising diners on Valentine's Day to avoid the clam chowder. <laughs> New research says that 40% of the 12 million people diagnosed with cancer each year could protect themselves by changing their lifestyles, said one expert. It's actually quite simple, really. All you have to do is give up smoking, drinking, eating fast food, doing drugs, having pets, using public transportation, and most importantly, living, breathing any oxygen within a thousand miles of any metropolitan area. <sighs> oh, crap. <laughs> A northeastern Pennsylvania woman was convicted of animal cruelty last week after she was caught selling cats with ear and neck piercings and marketing them as gothic kittens. Authorities hope to rehabilitate the animals, but fear nothing can make the kittens give up their love of meowsy. <laughs> meowsy. It's like Morrissey. Right. <laughs> said that sexting has become as popular among seniors as it is among young people. The claim was subsequently confirmed by the Institute of Disgusting Studies. <laughs> A 12-year-old New York City girl was handcuffed and arrested by police for writing on her school desk with an erasable marker. Ironically, the arrest will go on her permanent record. <laughs> A new survey in Men's Health magazine has listed Boston as the least drunken city in America. The survey was conducted by someone who's never been to Boston. 